Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Kenton County, Kentucky. This did happen in the month of December 2022. The title reads, Ludlow Homeowner Shot Alleged Thief in Self-Defense, Prosecutor Says. Now, before we get into this story, you guys know the drill. Please, if you wouldn't mind, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter if you can, and let us dive in to this story. Asha, thank you. So new at 10, a Ludlow man will not be charged after shooting a man police say broke into several cars, as you can see in the area. Yeah, prosecutors say this is video of Damon Hammonds trying to break into a home shortly before he was shot. Courtney King has the 911 call and spoke to a prosecutor in a story you'll see only right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says that the man who shot Damon Hammonds acted in self-defense. We're not naming that man since he hasn't been charged and is not being charged. But we do know that according to Sanders and in the 911 call, it says that the man told Hammonds that he had a gun and told him to stay away from him, but Hammonds charged at him anyway. 911, where's your emergency? This really unusual thing to happen in Ludlow. It's normally a sleepy little river town. On Wednesday, prosecutors announced the homeowner who shot a man who broke into... Guys, let me stop it there, okay? Um, we already see the video of this hoodlum joker mother flower who is terrorizing the neighborhood he's broken into cars he's trying to break into this home okay and we always get this narrative of oh this is a quiet town nothing ever happens here guys please you know you have a quiet town bring your gun okay get your gun get your firearm Okay, you don't want to be caught off guard just because you believe that your area is safe. I believe I live in a safe neighborhood, but guess what? I am armed to the teeth. Okay, and so should you be. Doesn't matter where you live. Okay, I'm sure there's some places out there, uh, these left-leaning cities where it's hard to get a gun, but if you have it, even if you live in a picketed off place or a walled off place or a secluded place or uh, what we call these people, a gated community, you should have a means to protect yourself. And the best way, guys, is to have a gun. All right. So let's see what else happens here. Several cars in Ludlow will not be charged. I just shot somebody. You shot him? I just shot somebody. This is the 911 call the homeowner made on December 5th, just before 5 a.m. I just put my gun down. Okay, put your gun down for me. And make sure you keep your hands out of your pockets for me, okay? Court documents say the man saw Damon Hammonds breaking into a car in front of his home and told him he was calling the police. And I uh, told him to get out of here. He said, I don't know how scared you start coming at me, so I, I fear for my life. Okay. Ultimately, this comes down to a matter of self-defense. Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says the homeowner told Hammond several times he had a gun and not to come near him. When this person, who we can only describe as a criminal, keeps coming, coming towards him, I think it was perfectly reasonable for the homeowner to fire and self-defense. Sanders says investigators are still figuring out how much damage Hammonds caused that night. Part of his alleged spree was caught on camera. Well, we know that he broke into a number of different vehicles, caused quite a bit of property damage. He was trying to break into at least one residence. Sanders says this is video of Hammonds trying to break into a home. But he was not able to get inside. We're in trouble. Sanders says he's not sure why he was yelling for help at one point. Help! Help! The prosecutor also says Hammonds is lucky to be alive. That shot could have easily killed him going through his neck. It could have paralyzed him. Um, am I the only one that says who 
who cares? Yeah. Who cares if this paralyzed him? The guy was trying to break into people's, break into somebody's house. Who, who, I don't give a, well, anyway. One of the things also, guys, why was this guy calling for help? Was he calling for help because maybe he had the accomplices with him? Who knows? Okay. In situations like this, when you know that particular person is crazy, you know, it makes sense to, uh, yes, call the police, which this man did, had his firearm with him, ready to use it. He did use it. But look at all the steps he had to also go through. Why didn't he just take his gun and shoot him right there on the spot? Hey, get off my property. Oh, you don't want to leave? Boom. Done. Okay? That's what I believe should happen. But you got to go through some steps. And it was displayed here. Um, not displayed here, but the prosecutor talked about, hey, hey, get off my property. Stop what you're doing. I have a gun. All these things. And even in some cases, guys, I think even in the terrible state of Maryland, you have to, you have a duty to retreat in your home. How ridiculous is that? I think even in the state of Virginia, somebody uh, breaks into your home. You actually have to somewhat barricade yourself in another room. And if that person comes through that room, then you can shoot them. Isn't that retarded? It is the dumbest thing. Let's move on. Ann Hammonds is out of the hospital right now, and Sanders says it is likely that he will be charged once the investigation wraps up. We're live in Kenton County. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Guys, and that's it. So, um, it's uh, it's good that he lived, you know. Hopefully he can get some help. But um, in the moment, guys, I don't have any mercy, nor do I have any uh, sympathy for people like this in the moment. In the moment of your life flashing by your eyes and look at what the man said. He said, I'm in fear of my life. In that moment, I'm not given two iotas. I'm not thinking about you at all. I'm only thinking about myself or if there are family members. That's what I'm thinking about. How do I protect them? How do I protect myself? And uh, that's the way it should be. But guys, kudos to the homeowner for having a gun. Good guys have guns. And if good men do nothing, there will be no good guys. <laughs>